You know what? I'm officially going to call these the walking vlogs. Yeah, the walking vlogs. Because every time I do this shit, check it. Well, shit, I'm walking. So, <sighs> this video is going to be about something exciting. It's going to be exciting for you. It's going to be exciting for me. Because this means that a lot of things that I stopped doing, I'm going to start doing again. Now, some of you who may be new to this channel may be wondering, well, what are you talking about something new? Well, let me tell you. Some of you know how I got my name ADS Play 101. It all started when I began doing video game playthroughs on this channel. I was doing exclusively Nintendo uh, DS playthroughs, which of course moved to the Nintendo 3DS, but I was doing... Nintendo DS playthroughs only. Oh, you know, and that was like my niche on this channel. That was my thing. Because at the time, there weren't there weren't people doing full playthroughs of video games on the Nintendo 3DS. A lot of games that which I felt should have been getting a lot of attention were only being played on my channel at this time. And I mean that literally. Not bragging or anything like that, but that's literally what it was. Like, if you search for help on any video game that you were playing at that time unless it was like a Pokemon game you weren't going to find videos on how to get past certain parts of games so I made it my I guess you'd say my mission to, to do full playthroughs of video games other than Pokemon, of course I did Pokemon games um, like Pokemon Black and White did Black and White 2 I want to say the first full playthrough I did was maybe, maybe Pokemon Platinum I think uh, I'm not 100% sure but, but yeah, most definitely Pokemon uh, was the main game being played on Nintendo DS. And it wasn't even like full playthroughs. It was like more so like videos here and there, just random videos of them doing battles. You know, they didn't do full playthroughs of it. So my channel was the only channel that was really doing full playthroughs on the Nintendo uh, DS and, and, and on the Nintendo 3DS. Now... Later on down the line, I began doing video game playthroughs on the PlayStation 3, as well as the PlayStation 2. Uh, but the last game that I played on the Nintendo 3DS was Project Cross Zone. This is the first Project Cross Zone, and I got this, uh, like I pre-ordered it, I got the, the, the poster that came with it and everything. But that was the last game that I played on the Nintendo 3DS. And then I sold it because I needed extra money for a plane ticket because that's when I moved to California from Louisiana. And, you know, it's, it's primarily been consoles ever since. You know, and then I, I moved from, you know, doing this, this, uh, this, this primitive style of recording, like holding up a digital camera on a tripod in front of a TV to doing, you know, direct capture, which I finally fi figured out how to do, you know, a few years back. Because um, I just didn't have the money to invest in the time. So I was able to invest in You know, I didn't, I didn't hesitate to get it. Because that was something that I always wanted to do. I just, you know, I, I just wasn't hip to what made that happen. So, you know, so the channel has come a long way since then. Now... of that you know I've had to make some sacrifices to the things that I did on this channel meaning that certain gameplays weren't going to be able to get done like I had to stop doing Nintendo 3DS playthroughs because again I had to sell my Nintendo 3DS I always intended to get another one but um, even when I was doing my recording my primitive style recording with the digital camera like I was talking about just a minute ago uh, Project Cross Zone, that, it, it was recorded just like that. You know, it, it wasn't the, the Nintendo 3DS I wanted anyway. I wanted one that was custom built um, with direct capture in it. And I found out this website that does it. And it seemed like everybody that's doing direct capture on the 3DS, either they got the kit from this person or they customized the Nintendo 3DS for them. And then they sent it to me. But it's expensive. I think it's like 100 or like 200. 
150 or like maybe 200 extra dollars just to get it customized and have them shipped to them. Like they, they, they really be taxing for that labor. So, <laughs> so they, um, so, so this guy or the person who does it, you know, they send you a link to the direct capture uh, program once they send you the Nintendo 3DS and, you know, you're able to live stream from that program on the Nintendo 3DS. So, you know, you get the cords and everything. And at the time, I didn't have the money for any of that. That was way out of my budget. So I just did what I could, which was a primitive style recording. Now, during that time, I also got requests. I began getting requests for video games. Like, for example, people wanted me to play, uh, what was the name of that game? Bravely Default. And then they came up with a sequel. A sequel to that game. And, you know, I'm still getting requests to play that. Like, I just recently got a, re a request to play Project Cross Zone 2. And I was like, man, I might as well just tell you that, you know, they ended up getting me a new job. Uh, and just for the sake of the video and make it simple, I'm going to just call this job number two. All right. Where I'm currently at, we're going to call that job number one. So, job number one has been good to me. I, I met some good people there. Uh, a few of those people are actually working at, at job two. They told me about it. I went there. So, I'm going to be making way more money than I'm making now. And because of that, and with my expenses and everything I got to deal with, I can actually have money to put to the side and save up for things such as the Nintendo 3DS because I actually got reason to buy it. It's a lot of games on the Nintendo 3DS that I had to put to the side when it come, when it came to doing you know, playthroughs of them because I didn't have my 3DS anymore. And then on top of that, I didn't want to do that premier side recording again for any more of the games. I mean, I would if I had to, but I didn't. I just I just wanted to get the, the direct capture. So because of this new job. Not only am I able to get the Nintendo 3DS, I can begin doing, you know, playthroughs of the games that people have been wanting me to play for like years now with direct capture. So that's something to get excited about, you know, and this isn't going to be like some run of the mill, you know, two games and then I'm done. No, there's a whole library of games on the Nintendo 3DS that I want to play that I finally am able to play because, because if I'm not mistaken, like they're still making games for the Nintendo 3DS, you know. So I got every reason to buy it, you know. Like I, but it's, it's going to be gameplay out the ass. And of course, to add on to that, you guys know that you know I did announce I plan on getting a PlayStation 4 Pro because basically to put it in perspective, I need a better internet connection. And the original PlayStation 4, you know, they have two types of internet connections. You have 2.4 gigahertz and you have 5 gigahertz. Now, 2. Point is basically the difference between the two is like you're sacrificing range for the, the connection strength. If that makes any sense. Like 2.4 gigahertz, that's the standard in every device. In every cell phone, every laptop, every game system has 2.4 gigahertz uh, connection built into it. They have that chip, they have that antenna, internal antennas uh, that connect to the 2.4 gigahertz. Because it has a wider range, it can reach a lot more people. But the, the downside is, because you have so many sources pulling from it, it slows down the, the internet connection for the people who may be on the internet. And it's not nobody's, it's, it's not solely on the, the people in your house per se, but it's like your next door neighbors. All of them, you know, everybody in the surrounding area is pulling from that 2.4 gigahertz uh, connection. Now, the 5 gigahertz, it doesn't spread out as wide because the connect, because the internet, uh, those waves are more congested to uh, your home. So, I've seen videos where people had like a good 10 megabytes per second upload speed, and it jumped up to like a good 78. So, when I seen that, at first I thought it was bullshit, but it, they, they tested it live, and, um, yeah, I definitely want to, uh, 
invest money in the PlayStation 4 Pro. Of course, I'm going to transfer all my data over to the PlayStation 4 Pro before I sell my original PlayStation, which has been good to me. PlayStation 4, I mean. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Also, something else that you guys know, I have been clamoring for the longest about getting a new gaming laptop about getting a laptop that can support the programs that I'm trying to run, the video editing programs I'm trying to run, you know, like the digital st uh, art studios that I've been trying to run, OBS Studio, or maybe even XSplit, depending on which is better. I think OBS runs fine. You know, I can, you know, I can invest money in getting these things done. You know, so this new job is actually going to be a benefit to not only myself financially, but to the viewer in the long run. And I would say as early as like mid-November, I should be able to get all these things taken care of. You know, but my first prim my primary objective is to get the new laptop. That is the main thing. And I could probably do that at the beginning, possibly around the end of October, the beginning of November. So I can do that as early, way earlier than what I originally planned. You know, so anytime I ask for... I know some of you guys were worried, you know, always oh, doing donations, you know, he's, you know, doing, he's trying to be like everybody else. My thing is, I'm actually doing, anytime I ever did donations, it was always for the benefit of the channel, not for any type of personal reasons. I didn't need money for bills, I didn't need money for anything else. It was literally to get the equipment that I needed. Now, the last time I did a donation stream, well, it was actually my first official donation stream, I was kind of in like a tight bind. And of course, I don't like really doing donation streams anyway, unless it's absolutely necessary. And at that time, I really felt like it was necessary because I got cheated out of some money. Um, somebody hacked my bank account. I got my money back, though, by the way, like a few days later. But it was just like one of those fucked up days where I was just like, man, I desperately need help. So I did the donation stream uh, basically for that reason. And I did make an apology video for that because I don't like bringing my negativity to the channel like that. So I had a bad attitude. It's just not what this channel is about. It's calm. It's relaxing. You come to my channel to have fun and have a good time. You know, that's basically what I'm doing. So at the 7-Eleven right now, uh, getting to the bus stop on my way home. But but yeah, that's basically what I do on my channel. I, I want it to be like a welcoming environment. So... I made an apology video for that, but that would that would be the only reason why I would have a donation stream, if if at all. You know, I always want it to be a welcoming environment, uh, and you know, I would only do a donation stream if I'm trying. It's, it's not that I'm not doing anything myself. It's because my finances aren't allowing me to stretch. You know, to get things that I need in order to improve the quality of the videos on my channel. So basically what you guys will be doing is help speed up the process of me being able to buy these. That's the only reason why you guys will be donating. It's just to help me out get to help me get the program the, the things faster. The hardware that I need and things like that. So most definitely there's a benefit for it. Uh, visually for you guys. Uh, and you know, business wise it's an investment for me. So that's basically all that's for, you know, I'm not in such a dire need that I need like donation streams to help pay rent and things like that. That's never what it's going towards, you know? Um, so yeah, man, that's the, that's the gist of it. Uh, now with all this, you know, obviously, you know, there's going to be something you know, pretty much like a drawback. Like you guys know it's going to be a drawback. So, currently at job two, they have me scheduled to work, to work, in, you know, in the morning. You know, like the, the, the hours that they have me working kind of fluctuates at job one. At job two, I'm, I'm going to be working because it's full time and the hours are consistent. I'm going to be working from seven in the morning to four o'clock at, uh, at night. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing there. Um, and I'm really not going to have time uh, to do a lot of things because 
I made a request. I don't know if it's going to get uh, approved or not. That I wanted to fill out for the remainder of the time that they have me at job one. I want to do from 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock until the end of this month. Which is basically when they have me, well, probably like right before the last week of this month. That's when, uh, that's pretty much when I'm going to be leaving. So the money I'm going to be making from job two is going to be, well, the money I'm going to be making from job one is going to be added to what I'm making at job two, the new job, and it's going to be able to help me get that laptop a lot faster. So <laughs> most definitely it's going to benefit literally me to do that. So it, it, all this starts on October 16th and it pretty much ends around October uh, let's see, like what's the last day before the week of, uh, uh, like the week of the 30th? I don't know. But basically, that last week, that last full week in October, um, like before the week of the 30th, that's going to be my last week working at job one. And that's when I'm going to move on to job two. But before, before then, between the 16th and that last, that last full week in October, I'm going to be working, you know, both jobs, trying to get my money right so I can get that laptop as fast as possible. Because everything else is going to be, you know, much cheaper than the, than the gaming laptop. And I think we all know that. So, most definitely I'm going to be working my ass off. So, I'm, I'm not going to have time to post a lot of things. Um, I'm going to try to prepare for that rainy schedule <laughs> as best I can. Uh, I'm going to try to record a ton of content ahead of time. That way, you know, even during the downtime, I can have like a good five to six videos uploaded uh, and ready to, to get viewed without me slacking in the, uh, in the content during that downtime where I'm not going to be able to upload anything new. Um, so that's the plan. But most definitely that's what the deal is. I'm going to be working my ass off until the last week in October, until the week of the 30th in October. my ass and I'm not going to be able to, you know, do live streams or record anything during that downtime, so, but it's all going towards a, a good benefit, so I don't want you guys to get mad at me, I don't want people to unsub, I don't want people to lose track of, you know, oh, is he going to upload anything again? Yes, and when I come back in full force, the, the video quality is going to be better, I'm going to have better hardware to do more things. And it's just going to be a better overall experience for everybody. I, I just don't see why anybody would be mad at that. That's why I made this video to kind of explain everything prior to that day coming. So, most definitely, man, I just wanted to get that out the way, let you guys know what's going on, and just, you know, let, let everybody know what's, uh, what's to come. You know, new gaming laptop, new... Uh, methods of live streaming, finally getting up to date with everybody else, getting the PS4 Pro, getting a better internet connection with the 5 gigahertz because of the PS4 Pro, and getting the Nintendo 3DS and doing live streams with it on all the games that people have been asking to see. Because they know, what I, a lot of y'all know what I used to do on this channel originally, and I just, you know, like it's time for me to get back to it because I miss it, and of course I'm going to still do console games, don't get it wrong, and of course I'm also getting that an Xbox One uh, soon. I don't know if I'm going to get the Xbox One X, but I will be getting like the Xbox One S or like one of the later versions, like prior to the Xbox One X. Because, you know, I don't think I'm going to be buying that many Xbox One games, but most definitely I want the system because they do have exclusives that I want to play. Like I'm missing out on Cuphead right now because they don't have it on the PS4. So, you know, that's a game that I really wanted to get my hands on. So, so yeah, man, that's that's it, man. So, before the end of this year, when I tell you everything is going to be in tip-top shape, it's going to be in tip-top shape. You know, granted that no bullshit happens, of course, but I don't really see anything holding me back from getting this done. You know, like, I really 
am in a, a good position right now. And I'm going to just push for that laptop because I need to get that purchase out the way before the end of November. So that's the plan. You know, take care of that beforehand. So that's it, man. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. You know, all this hard work starts on November, October 16th. You know, and it ends the full week. It ends on the week of uh, October 30th. You know, that last week and a half that crosses over into November, you know, that's when I'm going to be just be working my, my new job, and that's it. Because I'm not going to need both at that time. I'm just working both just to hurry up and get that laptop, man. That's the goal. So thank you guys for watching. Peace. And I hope you guys are just as excited about this as I am. I'm ready. Let's do this.